Welcome to Lobo Rebel and welcome to a new video here on Lobo Rebel. Mr. David, how are you doing bro? Good and yourself? Lovely. Guys, David's Instagram handle is now Swiss1 GT. <laughs> That's so cool. David, how are you bro? I'm always fine and yourself? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Guys, um, previously David is somehow in my position because he also owned an A45 AMG. And then from there, um, he went to a Mustang. And David, why did you commit a crime that I think a lot of other people wouldn't commit? Uh, Tell me. It's, it's a long story, but I always wanted a Mustang. And the previous generation Mustang wasn't really for me. It didn't drive nice. It had the tendency of what people would say, you know, crashing and it wasn't very stable. It was kind of all over the place. Then Ford came out with a new Mustang and they've improved all that new suspension, new stability control, more power, better tech, you've got a digital display. Of course. There is a price gap between the two, but for what you're getting and compared the Mustang to a, a Mercedes, the price point is not even... Yeah. Yeah, let, you, let, you can't even compare. Let me be clear, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You can pick a, this gen, I call it the Darth Vader generation because it's got the Darth Vader nose. Um, for under 900k, if you haggle by a dealer, uh, this car has got from drag modes to line lock to things that other cars in the segment don't even think of having. And you've also got this revised rear suspension, which I think you can check my video on the previous, on the Mustang that I did on the channel. Uh, that thou no longer twitches on you like that and it's as intimidating to drive yes the car is still fun if you want it to be with a touch control off but the car has become a lot more controllable now um i am gonna put my foot down because david has a mod on this car which i haven't heard yet on this channel david what mod mod is that it is a roush x-pipe yeah and that takes away the mid box resonator and uh gives it a nice straight X yes. so you don't get the raspy sound it actually for some reason in this car it makes it more aggressive and growls more bro and I don't even know when David spoke to me about this car he said yes I did X-pipe and I was like no you didn't because <laughs> X-pipe is that American sound that of that that they, how do I say this car's got the Coyote 5.0 oh, this is a gen this is the latest generation Coyote um, and I thought that's going to be too rusty, but as you can probably hear, I'll drop it down a few gears when I, the road goes a little bit straight here. Yeah. I'll put my foot down as it straightens up a bit. Yeah. It's, it's fast. David doesn't let other people drive his car. So it's like a nervous. <laughs> I <laughs> trust you. We just did the calipers on this car. And LA Customs. Good lord, the sound! Guys, I don't want to put foot down in corners. There's no need. I have done a performance test with the Mustang. You can click the card. I just want to do a straight line pull so we can enjoy more of the sound. David, tell me, do you bother yourself with fuel consumption of this car? Funny enough, this car, the way I drive, uses as much fuel as the A45. I spend the same amount 
of time at the petrol station as the A45. So my average on this is, uh, I mean, now I have about 12 and a half to 100. Mm. If I'm on the highway, I get about eight, nine, but it depends how you drive. Mm -hmm. If I drive like a hooligan, then mm. you get 15, 16, mm. like any V8, you know, but it's, it's, it's surprisingly very fuel efficient with it. This gear, 10, 10 speed yeah. automatic. Yeah. The problem with owning the 1080 is there's so much more bubbling under this car that you know this Coyote can do. With a supercharger on, these things breeze, breeze past 450 kilowatt like nothing. Guys, I'm just gonna roll in on it in first key and then change accordingly. amazing the G just pulls yeah. you know what guys they're like out of I'm gonna maintain what I said in my previous video the Ford Mustang GT remains my favorite car to date I'm not just saying it because David and I know them for a while um, we actually had quite a bit of conversations when he bought this car because I want the Mustang so badly if it's if you compare this car to a C63 C63 um, and to a BMW E92 M3 to me, it sounds slightly better than a C63, and this 10-speed auto feels so much more snappier than the C63's gearbox. The E92, again, just don't feel like it's that powerful because you need to rev it that high. Um, so yeah, one more pull, and then I'm going to give David Scott back to him. <laughs> probably just rewind again back to the beginning of this video because this sounds phenomenal yes the Mustang's got problems there are people who complain about the interior and it's plastic -y. I personally don't see those issues um, it's got a stunning Bang & Olufsen sound system cooled seats I mean digital display if in at 800 and odd thousand rand which you can pick them up for now David mm. I mean um, and this is a Coyote V8, the odds of this thing giving problems is highly unlikely. The exhaust actually sounds even better in cooler weather. No, it's hot here imagine. in Paul, but you can imagine. <laughs> I can absolutely imagine. There's a nice straight road. Let me stop here to the rear quickly. Uh, David's gonna drive his car back to the office because I don't want to be in between other cars. <laughs> I just want you guys to just roll the window down with me and you guys can just hear me. Check the mine down. Yeah, that's. Alright, guys, I'm putting to neutral weekly, right? So, with this model, I'm guessing all European models, there is a limiter to 5,000. But the Americans Lord. have up to 7, 8, they can redline yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Check out David on Instagram. You've probably seen his Instagram handle flash up at the opening of this video. David, thank you so much for letting me drive your car. I really appreciate it. It Thank you very absolutely much. Absolutely phenomenal. And I don't want to get out, but I have to get out. So, yeah. 